I'm not really a big sports person. Yeah. But I know I probably have people out there who subscribe to my channel or who like football. So, this is a game before we had a bunch of controversies going on in football. It's Sports Illustrator's Bull Bound, the game of college football. So this is college football, not NFL football. So, we'll check it out. This game is made in 19... It's one of those Alvin Hill bookcase edition games. And it was made in... Nineteen It's really old. It has came with this. It came with these wooden die that haven't even been took out of those plastic yet, which is pretty cool. Uh here's scoreboards that it's never been used. Here's a... It was bought at Goldsmiths way back when. Uh, someone bought it. The Newmans bought it to uh, Shelly. Oh, so Shelly or somebody. Uh, here's the rules. Which say it was 1978 when this game was made. So here's the rules. Here's advanced rules. So there's regular rules and advanced rules. And uh, Avalon Hill used to have all these little, um, lots of different games back in the day. Back in the 60s and 70s, they had all kinds of games. And they had magazines about the games. Um, for their sports games, they had all uh, all-star replay. For their other games, they had, uh, so... For their other games, they had a uh, armchair. They had armchair. They had the general. Uh, I think there was an armchair general magazine. There was a. There was a. Uh, here's the board. So, each side has their own little charts, and they have uh, the little football field and all that. And, uh, <laughs> wow, this little Avalon Hill game still has the, still has the little, uh, card. If you send this off to this location, it won't even go there because Avalon Hill, <laughs> I don't even think it is there anymore. But uh, then you have all these different teams. All these different teams. 1966 Purdue's chart. 1970 Stanford chart. Nineteen sixty nine Missouri chart. Nineteen sixty six Sarah Cruz chart. I don't even know if all these colleges are still around. Nineteen sixty five UCLA's chart. Nineteen sixties Washington chart. They got offense on one side and defense on the other side of the chart. Nineteen sixty eight Ohio State chart. Wow. 1963's Navy chart. So, 
So this game's like really vintage. It's practically kind of an antique. It's talking about teams from the 60s and stuff. 1961 Mississippi chart. 1969 Michigan chart. 1969 Florida chart. 1968 Yale chart. So I wonder what y'all's favorite uh, ball teams are. Uh, 1967 USC chart. What's your favorite football team in college and uh, in the NFL? 1969's Texas chart. 1966 Notre Dame chart. 1970's Nebraska chart. Nineteen sixty nine Arkansas chart, nineteen sixty seven Oklahoma chart, nineteen sixty nine Penn State chart, nineteen sixties Minnesota chart, nineteen sixty four Princeton chart. 1970s Tennessee chart. That's uh, the state I live in is Tennessee. So, Tennessee. 1962 Wisconsin chart. 1970s Northwestern chart. Wow. These are pretty. I mean, these are beautiful charts. Uh, 1966 Michigan State chart. 1966 Georgia Tech chart. 1968 Georgia chart. 1970 Dartmouth chart. 1966 Alabama chart. 1966 Army chart. 1969 LSU chart, 1970s Air Force chart, so there's that many teams, that is thick, that's a lot of teams, um, that's kind of cool, uh, And this game is, for a vintage game that's that old, this game is practically mint condition other than the box being old. Like it was up in someone's attic and nobody ever uh, played it. We got Bullbound. Bullbound. Here's your chance to quarterback your favorite college team to a national championship. And the Sports Illustrated magazine has scouted the top college football teams from out of the past. The actual play-by-plays of their games have been computer analyzed and converted into easy-to-use play-action team charts. They make the play of this game fast, exciting, and true to life. However, your decisions make the difference between winning and losing. Here are the 32 of the best teams. The 1970s Air Force Falcons, a Super Bowl participant on the strength of the passing of All-American Ernie Jennings. The 1966 Alabama Crimson Tide, going 11-0, including a Sugar Bowl win. The Kennery Stabler Leah Tim was considered by Coach Bear Bryant his best team ever. The 1969 Arkansas Razorbacks, setting a Southwest Conference scoring record, losing a national... General Championship by one point in a showdown game against Texas, the 1966 Army. The Miracle Team, this group of enthusiastic cadets, most sophomores, went 8-2, to two, earning top Tom Curiel Coach of the Year honors. The 1970 Darfmov Indians, finest team in Ivy League history, Shout out six of nine opponents allowing but six touchdowns and earning the famed Lambert Trophy. The 1969 Florida Gators, 
The old saying that a great thrower and great catcher can take a team a long way was v vividly demonstrated in a 9-1 season and upset bowl win over Tennessee. The 1968 Georgia Bulldogs rolling over SEC conference rivals including a 5-10 Townsing of Florida a shattering Sugar Bowl loss marred an outstanding 8-1-2 season. The 1966 Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, Coach Bobby Dryde's final year featuring an innovative Billy series on a rambling Rex march to a 9-1 season. The 1969 LSU Tigers, always outstanding on defense, Coach Charlie McClendon's high-scoring attack propelled Louisiana State to a great 9-1 year. The 1969 Michigan Wolverines, a 24-12 upset over undefeated national champion Ohio State, earned new coach Bo Schimbacher a Big Ten championship and trip to the Rose Bowl. The 1966 Michigan State Spartans, winner of the national title award coach Duffy Daughtry, the 66 team, tied Notre Dame in the historic 10-10 game of the decade. The 1960s Minnesota Golden Gophers, boasting an All-American quarterback Sandy Stevens in an era of rollouts and sweeps, a Big Ten Championship and awards as number one propelled into the Rose Bowl. The 1961 Mississippi Rebels, among the best of the old Miss powerhouses, the 61 version was best known for throwing from anywhere on the field. The 1969 Missouri Tigers, en route to the Orange Bowl, they scored 40 plus points per game four times for an 8 to 2 season. The 1963 Navy, Heinzman winner Roger Steinberg led the Middles. Middies to the 8-2 season and a number two ranking earning greatest player of the country. Accolade with Coach Wayne Harden. 1970 Nebraska Cornhuskers. After the bowl games, number one in the nation as the only undefeated team with a 10-0-1 record. 1970s Northwestern Wildcats. After losing the first three non-conference games, Alexis Agressis Charges Chargers won six out of the hits the last seven on its run to the Rose Bowl. The nine six in Notre Dame Fighting Irish coach Ara Passingy's baby bombers of sophomores baby oh yeah by quarterback Terry Hannerty bombarded nine opponents by frightful scores on the way to sharing a number one with Michigan State. So those are all the ones that were on that side. And But there's more. The 1968 Ohio State Buckeyes, one of Coach Rudy Hayes' best young teams, this Rex Grand-led club roared to a Rose Bowl win and a number one record. 1967 Oklahoma Sooners with the toughest defense in the... In the country. This is bowl bound. Bowl bound. Now we're, uh, this Cinderella team swept through to a 9-1 and one season. A number three ranking upset win in the Orange Bowl. 1969 Penn State and Nelly Lines undefeated for the second year in a row. The nation's second ranked team's defense scored or set up more points than it gave up, 107 to 56. The 1964 Princeton Tigers ran from an old fashioned single wing. Coach Dick Coleman's team went 9 0, handily winning the Ivy League title. Nineteen sixty six Purdue Buller makers Bob Grease did it all. His passing, running, pan, punting, and place kicking propelled coach Jack Marley's best team to Rose Bowl. The nineteen seventies Stanford Indians setting a national career record for passing quarterback Jim Pluckett earns a Heisman Trophy for himself and Pacific Eight Championship and Rose Bowl win for his team. The nineteen sixty six Sir Cruz Orangeman with 
Bugs Floyd Little and Larry Koski. Coach Ben Skitzwalder's bulldozing offense carried them all the way to the Gladiator Bowl. I mean the Gator Bowl. My bad. 1970s Tennessee Volunteers. A Sugar Bowl invitation was a reward for the nation's second best defensive team. One holding seven opponents to a touchdown or less on its way to a 10-1 record. The 1969 Texas Longhorns. Undefeated and un and united through 11 games. They were unanimous. Miss Choice from number one. Defeats over mighty Arkansas and Notre Dame in the Cotton Bowl earned Daryl Royal two-time section as Coach of the Year. The 1965 UCLA Barnes. Another miracle team. Coach Tommy Pranthro took them all the way to Rose Bowl win over Michigan State with QB Gary Bowman at the helm. 1967 USA Trojans. Yeah. The year O.J. Simpson... Famous name, O.J. Simpson. Made life easy for Coach John McKay, whose offense gained 1,400 yards in a Rose Bowl triumph over Indiana. The 1960 Washington Huskies, the second of two consecutive great teams, Coach Jim Orings stressed hard-nosed football. It earned him one selection as number one in 10 and one season the 1962 wisconsin badgers it was vander klein to richer every saturday until coach mitt Byrne and his big 10 championship 1978 yale bulldogs the year of the brand dowing act throwing 19 touchdown passes scoring seven and seven seven and eight school records as quarterback and additional teams Many more, in fact, available is Team Set 2, direct by mail from Avalon Hill Game Company. Details inside the game box. The game includes Bowl Bound, Sports Illustrated Bowl Bound, includes 32 color-coded offense, defense, and special team charts with Sports Illustrated and scouting reports on each squad. Score pad to each time a according to how long its real-life play would take. Mount and plan board with gridiron and special play charts. Set of five special number die. Dice plastic football and 10-yard markers rule fodder. Okay. Um, well, I don't see the uh, plastic football, <laughs> but... I mean, it wouldn't be too hard to get a little plastic football for this game. Um, and I don't see the 10-yard marker. But, uh... That's the only thing missing? Then I wouldn't complain too much about this little game. Because it's pretty much got everything else... And all it needs is a little bitty plastic football, which those are not hard to get. Um, that would not be that hard to get. How to play bull bound. Color-coded team charts have been prepared for each of the 32 great college teams. Each team's real-life performance was analyzed by mathematical statistics and computer programs, and the results encoded on both the offense and defense teams chart for each club the depth of this analyst has been so great that we are confident you will find this game unrivaled for excitement and true to life results however because all 32 are nearly even in overall ability it is you as coach whose play choices make the difference offense and defense players simultaneously select a play and formation from respective team charts. The choices are revealed in special game die determined result of the play, which are based in favor of the respective team's real life strong points. But it is you who decides when in run pass blitz all the options a real coach has at his command. So it's bull bound. It's a uh, one of those old Sports Illustrated Avalon Hill games that you can. Well, back in the day, you could buy, you could buy, back in the day, you could buy more, you could buy more, um, stuff to it. Got these little extra pages for, I guess it's for, uh, writing little notes down and stuff. So, uh, it's missing football. That's. 
really all it's missing. And a little marker, which you could use the football as a marker. Pretty much has everything else. And here's the little, um, I know I'm, I know I've gone, this is a long video, but I thought maybe this would be pretty cool. Some people probably don't care about this. But uh, some people might think this is pretty neat. This is actual old, um, their, their, um, catalog, which some people might not care for. I personally think this is awesome because I like board games. Vintage board game collectors probably would love just this catalog. So, so you got like games like Word Power, Events, Contego, Trixed, Executive Decision, Point of Law, Outdoor Survivor, Shakespeare. Stocks and Bonds, I have that game. Orari, I uh, think I have that game. Uh, business Strategy, Go, Chess, the stock market game, Facts and Five, I actually have the stock market game. Uh, Challenge Bridge, Challenge Bridge 2, Image, Tough, Feudal, I have that game. Let's see, Feudal, I, I actually have that game. Tough a bit, Full, Ploy, Acquire, another game I have. The Collector. And a Twixt, that was, uh, that's a game I have. Um, Executive Decision, I have Executive Decision. Uh, perplexus, triples, totally, Bali, deluxe triple, triples? Yeah, triples, okay, triples, and barrier. Even tells you how you're supposed to order through the mail. Now, there's also uh, historical event recreation games. First, we're going to go for the novice, like Tactics 2, War at Sea, Gettysburg, Africa Corps. I actually have a copy of Africa Corps. Alexander the Great, Waterloo. Uh, here's some of the classics. Here's even a few things that um, some of our famous generals said. Donald L. Dixon, a colonel in the United States Marine Corps. He said, Anthony C. McAuliffe, general in the United States of America. Uh, C. Wade McLester, rear admiral in the Navy. These, This is what they said, man. Come on now, come on. So, the, the games were endorsed by actual military people way back in the day. Diplomacy, I have that game. Origins of World War II. Wooden Ships and Iron Men. Russian Campaign. And here's some Sports Illustrated classics. Like, they got Football Strategy. Pay Dirt. Challenge Football. I don't think this is their full catalog but just probably these the main games of this year baseball strategy college football superstar baseball and here's a games parts price list so you could buy you know more parts to some i mean they didn't just sell games back in the day they sold parts to games so if you like wore, wore some of your games out you could get like new parts, which is pretty cool. Basketball strategy, track meet, go for the green. Of course, this catalog, since it's in sports, is going to probably have more games about sports. Uh, here's a few new games they got. Uh, the Back in 1977, of course, brand new. They got uh, Sports Illustrated Times, Speed Circuit, Win, Place, and Show, and updated play action cards. So that's cool. Uh, 
uh, Kingmaker, Kingmaker, Midway, Rice Chuffin's War, Battle of the Burge, D Day, I believe I have D Day, Starship Troopers, uh, I think I have Starship Troopers in my room, uh, Kring Sprawl, I think I have Battle of the Bulge too, uh, Oh, here, tournament level now. Panzer Leader. I think I might have that one. Blitzkrieg, Torbuk, Third Reich. Rise and Fall of the Third Reich. I, I actually have that one. And Luftwiff, I believe I have that one too. Plans, Panzer Blitz. I either have Panzer Leader or Panzer Blitz. I'm not sure which one I have. I have one, I believe. Uh, 1776 War Game. Um, Arab Israel War. S Caesar. Um, Squad Leader. I actually have that one. Assault on Crete. Boxcars and U-Boat. Those are some more that they're, we're planning on having. And uh, they had mail order games. Uh, Stalingrad. Uh, Caesar's Legions. I actually think I have Stalingrad in my, uh, in my collection. Chancellorsville. France 1940. Jutland, Ozio, they even got play-by-mail kits and how to replace missing parts. Man, this book has all kinds of great information. Uh, putting it all together. So they got, uh, and here's some leisure time games like Venture, I have that one. Evade, Sleuth, Full, they even had Puzzles. And puzzles and stuff so that was bull bound and uh the uh avalon hill catalog of games that they had back in the 70s and 60s stuff so uh this was a good old football game back before we had video games People sit around and they played board games, and but this is like one of those early versions of before we had fantasy football and stuff. We had a uh, well, they actually had fantasy football, but they had games, board games about football and basketball and baseball and all those different sports. So, like, comment, subscribe. Um, God loves you. Jesus loves you. Um, if you like sports games, um, you'll probably like this game. I mean, if you like, if you're like the old teams and you want to relive maybe some history, this would be um, kind of old school stuff. Uh, comment your favorite sports team. Uh, your favorite sport. Your favorite athlete um tell me some games you'd like to see if you'd like to see more sports games tell me because i have a few of them i don't really i'm not a big sports fan so i don't collect a whole lot but uh of that kind of stuff but uh i collect board games so if i do find them um i'll get them and I will uh, review them for you on my channel here. So everybody have a great day. And uh, enjoy your days. And play some football. Because uh, everybody likes football, I guess. Well, maybe not everybody. But uh, football's one of them America's pastime games, I guess. Uh, and if you went to college uh, and you played football, uh, tell me what college you went to. Uh, what'd you study? What'd you graduate? What'd you learn? Um... If you haven't gone out of high school yet and you're planning on going to college, cool. Tell me what college you're planning on going to, what you're planning on studying, uh, what you're planning on your major in being, and everybody have a great day. And remember that Jesus is loved and Jesus loves you.